Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming live from the village. Yes, I came, I traveled to the village as I had told you in my last video. So today is on a Saturday. We didn't go to church because yesterday we had a very tiring day. So are uh, we going to, I want to go to the market because there are some things I want to get from there. Yeah, I need to buy some rice. I don't have uh, rice. I don't have any flour in the house. So I want to go and get some few items. And uh, there's also a package that a friend of mine sent from home, from Nairobi. Uh, it includes my old cups and plates. Yeah, I wanted them to come over here because I want to buy new stuffs. Uh, in Nairobi so I'm also going to pick that package and then I make lunch yeah so I just want to take you uh, to take you together in the market and uh, guys just see the background yeah uh, you see the clear stuffs uh, behind the trees yeah that is the lake that is Lake Victoria yeah we are just uh, close to the lake actually that fence down there is the is the homestead our homestead fence so this is my home this is my home from uh where i'm married yeah this is where i'm married and it's in megori county a place called sori so that is the compound and that is how the lake is down below yeah you can see the background i'll take you to that place and you will see maybe before i leave i'll be i'll be here for the next I think four days then i also need to go to another funeral which uh the corpse is still in nairobi it will come over on uh, saturday uh, on wednesday yeah so we need to go to where my late mother-in-law came from that is where the other funeral will be yeah so I'll take you also there with me, but today let's just go to the market, get a few stuffs, and then we come back. Opposite our homestead, uh, we are uh, we have a school here. So this is a an extra county school, but it is a boys school. So it's called Sorry Boys, and uh, this is where Habi schooled uh, back then when they were uh, when she, he was young. And uh, he usually tells me life life in this school wasn't that was wasn't easy at all. So you know. Uh, it was very difficult. Uh, they had a humble background and uh, it was very difficult growing up. So he, he used to tell me that uh, they even used to get late uh, coming to school. So you can imagine the school just being opposite your opposite uh, your home and then you get late. So after the school, uh, we have a church and then there is also a Sori Primary here. So opposite Sori Primary. We have uh, a field that was supposed to be sorry girls, but due to some corruption and all that, it was never built. Yeah, so this road goes directly um, to the market. So this is where uh, sorry girls was supposed to be, and there's a lake opposite. And this road, yeah, this is sorry uh, primary. Yeah, this is where it is sorry primary. So there's a road uh, that is tarmacked all the way to the market. 
Yeah, and opposite, uh, so primary, there's this field, and then there is a lake. So this, he, this is where, sorry, girls were supposed to be, but it was never built because I hear uh, there was some corruption and uh, argument between putting sorry girls or, or wrong or something wrong or university branch then it was uh, never utilized. So that land, you know what land, uh, that land, if not uh, kin, uh, they may grab it uh, one day. Uh, yeah, one day it might be grabbed because it's not being used. So we're just walking to the market and it's not far. I love the one thing I love about this home is whenever you want to go to the market, it's just like a 10 minutes walk and the roads uh, the road to the market is very good. It, it's tarmacked and uh, this is where the market starts actually. There is a field that uh, kids usually play football and on market day uh, uh, women or mothers put uh, some clothes there, some tumba clothes, tumba bed sheets, tumba everything to sell and then there is this uh, just carod uh, passing straight inside the uh, market. For yourself, for yourself Until it is over. You should have thought about Your problems wouldn't go away By themselves I will take your heart Count the time of love until it is Today was not a market day, but tomorrow it will be a market day. So uh, you'll see uh, the, there are plastics, uh, yeah, people are still coming to the market to sell because, again, they need uh, to feed. So every day they'll, they'll always be here selling omena, uh, vegetables, uh, plastics, utensils, and all that. Yeah, so people have to eat, so they have to come every day in the market. But there are, there are special days of market, which is Sunday and Wednesday. So today is Saturday and tomorrow will be Sunday, a market day. So maybe I will bring you here so that you can see um, you can see how the market is on uh, a market day. I'm not sure if it will be full like in December the market is usually very very full but because it's in April holidays I'm not sure if it will be a full market. So I am walking down I am going straight to I'm going straight to the stage where the buses are. So I'm going to Ena coach where it usually is to collect a package. So I've left the market side and this road, uh, this is a road that just comes from, it's a main road in this town. Yeah, this is a small town and it's called Sorry Bay. The reason why it's called Sorry Bay is because it, it, um, it, it goes through the lake. Yeah, it goes through. It's surrounded by the lake, but not an island. So when it's an island, it means the lake surrounds it completely and it's in, it is inside the lake, but it is not surrounded completely, but it is the lake surrounds it. It surrounds it. Um, most of the part of this town is surrounded by the lake. That's why it's called Suri Bay. Yeah, so you can see down there, there is Ena Coach, and um, on this same road, there is uh, Easy Coach, there is Transline, there is all those buses that go to Nairobi, and this road is the one that goes to Nairobi. It goes all the way to a place called Rodi, then it branches to Kisi and goes straight to Nairobi. So I'm just going to collect that package that I told you a friend so it sent, uh, which includes some of my uh, some of my utensils from Nairobi. Yeah, I want to bring them over here because I will be buying uh, new ones in my new my my kitchen in Nairobi. So there was no need of uh, disposing them, and I really need those utensils down here. I have not bought. I don't have a lot of things in the village, so I'm just trying a little by little to stock up my my small 
uh, Simba in the village. So later on, we came to the supermarket to get a few foodstuffs. Uh, you know, we just came two of us and we don't need much in that house. And uh, we won't be spending a whole month or a long time here. So we just needed some little uh, oil, uh, some breakfast, or one packet of flour and all that. Yeah, so uh, times my my little sister-in-laws cook and they bring us food even when we have not asked them to. They are so generous, but... Um, uh, we just feel that we need to have uh, food in the house and uh, whenever we're hungry, we can cook. Yeah, so that's what we came to buy in this uh, supermarket. And uh, I was shocked uh, that uh, this time around I came and uh, we had more supermarkets, but they are owned by... Uh, uh, warrior, yeah. Can I say warrior? Um, I'm not sure the right word to use, but uh, they are owned by uh, Somalis. Let me say Somalis. Yeah, that is the perfect word. I'm not sure if there are Somalis from Kenya or Somalis from Somali, but we have three supermarkets here that are owned by uh, Somalis. So let me just get uh, these items, then I'll see you later.
So this day I wanted to have uh, beef and uh, uh, and rice. So I wanted nyama yambuzi actually, but uh, it was it was not there. I'm told that it gets sold out early in the morning. So I decided to get beef and beef here a kg is 520. And I'm told that it it was even 500, just that the uh, it went high by 20 bob and uh, the villagers here are not so happy about beef going up with 20 shillings so beef is the cheapest meal in this town i can't say fish because at times fish is cheap and uh, it's expensive it depends with the season but a uh, beef is is very affordable here and uh, it's very sweet the meat is tender and very sweet and fresh guys yeah this this when you want uh, to eat good beef go into the village and you will have good beef i remember even in my in my village where i come from beef is normally cheap and it's very uh, tasty and very fresh compared to beef in town. So back home, I got some tomatoes, onions, one hoho, and these tomatoes were going one for 20 shillings. They are very expensive. The onions were going one for 20. The green pepper was one for 20. The flour I bought at 200 Kenya shillings. I got a kg of beef and I got some aerial for uh my clothes, my laundry, I got a bar of soap, though it's too much. I got some biscuits to snack on for my in-laws. I got some tea leaves. Yeah, I didn't get much, actually. I got a Royco, a sachet of Royco a, a soap for showering. And uh, I also got some two rolls of tissue paper. Yeah, because I need tissues in the house, of course. Yeah, so I didn't get a lot of things, but I managed to get a few that will take me for the few days that I'm here. Yeah, so... This is all I got. Then I managed to get the parcel that I wanted. I also got soda for us. I got two bottles, one for us and one for my uh, my in-laws. So the 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 yeah, there was this smaller one and the big one was for my small in-laws. I also got a big bucket, a big plastic bucket for storing water. Of course, I had some, but I just felt that I needed to add. Whenever I come home, I just always find myself uh, stocking these things in the house. Yeah, I also got some oil. Yeah, this is all I got from the market. So this is the next day lunchtime. So we made ugali and some uh, omena, but I had missed this uh, big omena. These are called ofulu. So that is how we call them down here. So I had missed ofulu so much and I wanted them just dry like this. So uh, we made them and we decided to go to the market with my in-laws. Yeah, so these are school kids. Uh, they are still in school. Uh, from form 1 to form 4. One of them just cleared form 4 and she's waiting to join nursing. So we are just waiting for her calling later and see if uh, she can go to college. Uh, but the rest are in form, between form 4 and form Two. Yeah, so we decided to go to the market because it was a market day. And uh, so this is us. And it was almost raining, guys. It was a very bad day. And the weather has been so bad but the, here in the village. So when the sun uh, when the sun, sun is there, the sun is very hot. Then when the rains come, they are very heavy and they, they pour. 
rains here are pouring like hell yeah there's a lot a lot a lot of rain so it started drizzling and we were walking just down to the market and you can see how muddy it is because it has it had rained the previous day so so this day uh, my sister wanted some brown flour so there is this flour that we normally have from this side it's made out of um millet not so gum millet and uh, cassava yeah so that uh, my sister when she came over for my dad in dad in law's funeral uh, they made that flour they made that ugali and she really likes it and it's very yummy guys it tastes it is slippery as slippery as fufu if you are in nigeria but it's made out of dried cassava and uh, millet back in my village we had uh, cassava mixed with uh, sorghum but uh, here they 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 normally make uh, cassava and millet and not sorghum so we she wanted that so i was going to uh, buy some for her and parcel so i decided to parcel because uh, she bought a lot of flour so that's why i decided to parcel it and not wait till i come to nairobi so we bought uh we bought this is what uh this is what is cassava that is dried up so we bought five kg five five gorogoros meaning one gorogoro is two kgs guys yeah so this is how a gorogoro looks like it's a plastic a plastic container of 2 kgs so when we were growing up it used to be a metallic metallic 2 kg tin but nowadays uh, you rarely find uh, those metallic tins so they use these plastic containers which are made uh, which are left after we have you after you have used some oil some cooking fat yeah so she wanted 5 gorogoros which is 10 kgs of uh, cassava and uh, I also made uh, one, one two kgs of uh, millet and uh, two k and four kgs of sorghum yeah so that is what I bought and uh, uh, we took it to the portion mill uh, tra transformed into flour and I also bought her some omenas those are what do we call omena in English Mm, I've forgotten the name. Ah, yeah. So I bought omenas and uh, I parceled to her because I we couldn't wait. So this is how. Um, this is Wimby. Wimby is a uh, millet. Yeah. So this is Wimby. So the lady is making Wimby. This is how we make it to remove the dust and extra f fibers. Uh, yeah, this is how they make it before taking to the portion mill. So that is what brought me into this market this day. So that is the portion mill making the flour. So uh, we took it direct to the portion mill, uh, to the Enakosh to parcel after buying some omenas. And it was so rainy, so we couldn't shoot much. So thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Goodbye.